man, what he likes to cook a cock. Fucking significant difference. Does it have an impact on blood pressure? Like to you can lower it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not by a lot, but like enough. Yeah, that's the direction it, you want. If it's yeah, Woody's blood, blood pressure was a little bit high, and uh, I recommended him some of those um, salt alternatives that that you showed me months back. Oh, the no salt. No, like like maybe that one and uh, a couple others. Like like uh, I experimented with several of them uh, okay. until I found one that I found one that was good for like topping things, and one that was better <laughs> for cooking. Yes. I made some changes. I got it back down to 120 and stopped measuring it. So, oh, you're in the clear forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. I, I mean, I I, I I I take my blood pressure once a month or so, and it's it's been good for a long time. Yeah. It's... I what I was I was I was I remember when we first started like the thing, and uh, and Derek was like, yeah, and you know, salt your food to taste. I, I should have probably pressed him a little more, but I was just like, <laughs> lots of salt. That's what I like. Okay, sounds good. And I'm just like salting the fuck out of everything because yeah. I like shit salty. I and, would have uh, taken that as like a as much salt as you want anytime. Like as that's a, basically yeah. what I did. And um, one of those like diet hacks, one of the ways that I would deal with like hunger was um, that Orville Redenbacher popcorn that's 100 calories a bag. Mm. And I found like this uh, this seasoning salt for it that tastes like buffalo wings. Oh, and nice. So like, so there was a couple times where it was like I can either have three quarters of a cup of rice, which is like, and it's gone, yeah. or I can replace my carbs with like two whole bags of popcorn, and yeah. I would just like eat my like piece of beef, my peppers, my spinach, and then I'd have like this big ass bowl of popcorn. I was like, all right, I can live like this. Oh, and sugar free <laughs> Jello. <laughs> yeah. That's where being intuitive kind of kind of comes into play with the vertical diet because it's mainly geared towards guys trying to get like jacked and maximizing sports performance and muscle building so like some of the stuff you can alternate in like popcorn for rice for example if you're cutting definitely highly encouraged because otherwise you might be like unnecessarily starving yourself at least like you're eating the same amount of calories but you feel way more hungry because the food is so dense in yeah. nutrients like although you have like with rice you're not really trading off micronutrients if you swap it for popcorn so like by all means if you're in a calorie deficit like do that you know that's exactly what i was thinking too yeah and uh, like um like those were the two things i used the most when i was just like actually fucking hungry like i would finish my meal and i'd, I'd be popcorn like, and jello popcorn and jello like i found this like sugar-free jello that comes like by the you know how you buy like the cheap eggs and they come in like 36 pack yeah. like big giant things i was buying jello like that and when it's zero calorie jello it's like what are we eight at a time, ten at a time? Like, like if I'm hungry, I would just keep eating Jello. And something about like Jello mixing with the popcorn in your stomach, I feel like it forms <laughs> it forms some sort of mass of like density that like makes your body feel satiated for a while. Like popcorn, it like, might. I think it really <laughs> it felt mass. like it. It was like Jello and popcorn was like mixing together in my stomach to form like, oh, it feels like I ate food. See, <laughs> if you don't chew the popcorn, it's even better. Yeah, it, it it you just gotta choke it down. You, you just swallow it, it like pills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like like those last couple of weeks, like it was stuff like that that like kept me like alive. I guess it was like eating stuff like popcorn and that no calorie Jello because I, I would finish find those. Your Jello. If I remember right, it was five calories. I know you're calling it none, but it, it was almost none. There's two. And mine nine. was like twenty or something, and and you have. You want like four of them as a snack, and that adds up to something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like the name brand shit is five calories. Um, and I mm. found this, like I said, it was this generic shit that's just on a piece of cardboard with cellophane wrapped over the top that my grocery store happens to have, and uh, it's like super cheap packaging. But it, it was pre-made for you already. Um, they're in like little cups. They're in like, oh, okay. like little Jello cups, and like each cup, it's, it says zero calories. It might be five, and they're rounding down. I know they'll do that sometimes, but shit like like what's 40 calories like it's yeah yeah I mean, it's worth I, not feeling I'm counting every calorie don't get me wrong but like i remember somebody was like they were talking about measuring spinach and i was like dude if you're measuring your spinach to the gram like you've got bigger problems than i do what a like, psychopath like like there's there's so few calories in spinach i like like i i just get a handful at a time and like like i cook it until it like there's enough spinach in the pot yeah. to like what happens if you eat too much spinach nothing you become 
You have uh, a little more spinach in you. Yeah, Jackie um, prepares my meals, and it's my wife, and uh, she weighs it all for me so I can enter it in chronometer, chronometer, whatever. And like, I don't even have the heart to tell her I don't choose the right. They're different mixed vegetables every day, and she's weighing them to the gram, and I just choose the same fucking thing on chronometer every day because it's easier. <laughs> it's yeah. like, uh, and that's like cl- close enough. Yeah. Like, some things are so. There, some things are so. Um, non-calorie dense that it's just like have at it like like you know i i eat those carrots every day i hate them um i hate those carrots what do you like carrots yeah i i I eat like a handful of baby carrots a day as part of the fucking vertical diet for some goddamn reason um i read something about it's good for digestion and maybe uh i'm sure there's some sort of micronutrients in carrots you can eat too many carrots it they hurt my stomach if i overdo it and grapes I, i i went through this kick where it was like you know what if I if I want to watch TV and have a snack, I'm gonna. I you know I just want to live a happy life. And grapes, I don't know anyone who got fucking way overweight and just say it's I gotta cut the grapes. So I start like pounding grapes and watching TV. And 30 minutes later, the pain. Oh my god, my stomach hurts so much. You can overdo grapes easily and quickly, and it's a big problem. And I didn't know how to get relief from it. It just it took hours. It was terrible. That's one thing about the vertical diet. I'll say it's great for digestion. Like your whole like pooping cycle is just like on point. Like you're, you've never got stomach cramps or like diarrhea or anything like that. You just seem like really good digestive health. I think there's um it, it, digestive health is like off the chain uh, for the last year. Um, that bout of food Still poisoning I had chain. late last week aside. Yeah. yeah like, My digestive yeah. health is off the chain. Yeah. It is. Like, like, Hello, lit, kids. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just like, I, I feel like your body's like this big machine with like a hundred fucking dials. And I'm just going to like, all right, everything to a hundred. Like, like, and, you know, for the last. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I ended on that note. I love the that word. That was the play. best shit I've ever heard.